Deep cuts are sure to hit the country's nearly 50 million public school students when they return to class this fall. The only question now is how deep. It's devastating. If we don't help our kids now, we will lose a generation of kids. Collapsing local and state economies have swamped school finances, forcing massive layoffs as well as closing schools and classrooms. New York public schools are $50 million short. Illinois will cut 12,600 education jobs, and in California, 23,000 teacher layoff notices have already been sent out. The overwhelming majority of districts around the country have cut through, have cut through the fat, <laughs> cut through flesh, and are absolutely at bone now. Trying to limit the damage, Secretary Arnie Duncan is pushing Congress for $23 billion in emergency funds. Um, we can't afford to have, again, pick a number, 150, 250, 300,000 teachers on un unemployment rolls. We want Congress to take action. We want Congress to take action now. This is not something they can debate for four or five months and then do something in September or October. It's too late. But the bill has run into stiff opposition on Capitol Hill. Pushing for action, parents are raising the alarm. Huge problems. Stimulus funding is going to end. Um, the projection on the state economy still is not great. The projection on the national economy still is not great. So the reality is there will be a lot fewer funds. Where is it going to come from? Coming to a school near you are larger class sizes, cancelled summer schools, and reductions or eliminations in everything that's not a core subject. Those kinds of cuts have the American Federation of Teachers fuming. We, we've learned what we need to help all kids succeed. And at the same time, the bottom has fallen out on our economy so that we don't have the resources to do it. Pushing reform on a tight budget, Duncan watches students and volunteer scientists experiment. Nothing style in here is expensive. This is all you know, you know, cheap, inexpensive, but high quality, high engagement. And I think this is going to help produce this next generation of, of uh, scientists. But without the benefit of an education bailout, America's students run the risk of being left further behind. Tracy Brown, The Associated Press.